Hi, I'm Gino D'Angelo, a local real estate agent specializing in helping people relocate to Charlevoix and Northern Michigan in general. Today, we're going to explore both the pros and cons of living in Charlevoix to help you determine if living here makes sense for you and your family. The first great thing about living in Charlevoix is the natural beauty and outdoor recreation opportunities. With both Lake Michigan and Lake Charlevoix, as well as rolling hills, Charlevoix is one of the most picturesque areas in the entire state. Whether you like hanging out at the beach, kayaking, boating, fishing, or hiking, there is something for everyone to do outside in Charlevoix. One of my personal favorite outdoor activities to do in Charlevoix is ride my bike along the Little Travers Wheelway. It currently spans from Charlevoix all the way to Harbor Springs, Michigan, which is about a 35 mile ride each way. This means for even the most avid cyclist, you will never run out of area to ride your bike. Now, if you're a cyclist that prefers a more scenic route, there are plenty of quiet back roads around Lake Charlevoix and into the countryside that allow you to ride your bike in peace and quiet. Another pro of living in Charlevoix is the small town feel. As I said in the beginning of the video, this is one of the most popular small towns in all of Northern Michigan and the entire Midwest. Feedback I've gotten from many of my clients who I've sold houses to in Charlevoix has been that they love the small town community feel and even as outsiders not from the area have made many great friendships because of the small tight knit community. Another pro that I have heard from people that have moved to Charlevoix is festivals and cultural events. One of my personal favorite events each year is the Venetian Festival. The Venetian Festival takes place in July, downtown Charlevoix, and has an art fair, festival rides, and a bunch of other stuff for you to check out. And you can really tell that summer's on its way once the Venetian Festival is taking place. The same way we consider the Venetian Festival is the kickoff to the summer, the Charlevoix Apple Fest closes the summer festival season. Now, if you like apples, you're going to love Apple Fest. There's face painting, festival rides, kids activities, and even a petting zoo with camels and goats that you can feed for a nominal fee. Another pro to living in Charlevoix are the great educational opportunities. They have both great public and private schools, depending on which you prefer, that will give your children the education that you're hoping for and to make sure they are prepared for college. One of the things Charlevoix is most known for, whether you're a local or somebody not from the area, are the mushroom houses. These iconic houses were built by Earl Young without using a blueprint. Earl Young built these homes without a blueprint, allowing the landscape to control the design rather than changing the terrain to fit the design. Living in Charlevoix provides an opportunity to admire and appreciate the town's distinctive architectural character, which adds to its charm and allure. One of the cons of living in Charlevoix is the seasonal economy. While it's really busy and there's a lot of work in the summer, there's not as much in the winter. With the increase of being able to work from home, it has really allowed more people to live and work year round in Charlevoix than ever before. Another con of living in Charlevoix is the high cost of living. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you've noticed a common thread that each of the cities we feature have a high cost of living. That is because so many people are relocating to Northern Michigan than ever before. Housing prices, property taxes, and other expenses in Charlevoix may be relatively high compared to other regions. There have been 52 sales in Charlevoix this year with a year-to-date average cost for a Charlevoix home sitting at $577,000. Now prices have ranged from $58,000 to over $4 million this year, so no matter what your budget is, there is something for you in Charlevoix. Another kind of living in Charlevoix is the limited entertainment options. Now there's plenty to do outside, but if you're used to going to baseball games and concerts, you're going to have to travel to either Detroit or Chicago, which are both a short car ride away, to see the bigger events. Another con that I have heard from people that I have sold houses to in Charlevoix are the harsh winters. Now, if you're moving to Charlevoix or anywhere in Northern Michigan, you better find a winter activity you enjoy to pass the winter months. Whether it's snowmobiling, skiing, or ice fishing, there is an outdoor activity for everybody. But without one of those activities, the winters do drag on and they are sometimes hard to get through. One of the things that makes Charlevoix one of the most unique places to live in the world is the ability to have a large boat at your dock and be able to travel anywhere in the world through Lake Michigan. Now, while Charlevoix is great for boaters to go from Lake Charlevoix into Lake Michigan and back, that does cause the bridge to have to be drawn up and down 
multiple times every day to let the big boats in and out. Now, while it's great for the boaters to have that option, if you were trying to cross that bridge with your car during the day to make an appointment, you have to add extra time in because there's a chance you're going to have to stop. If you live in Charlevoix and are watching this video and I've missed a pro or con, please leave it in the comment section below. At the end of the day, there are great reasons to live in Charlevoix. If you have any further questions or want to know more of what it's like to live in Charlevoix or anywhere in Northern Michigan, please call me directly at 231-487-6141. And if you found any value in this video, please hit the like button. And for more videos like this and everything Northern Michigan real estate related, please subscribe to my channel.